Welcome everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over the learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? We're learning how to determine whether a function is even, odd, or neither. How are we learning it? Through the even and odd functions part two notes and the even and odd functions part two assignment. When can we use this information? To recognize trends in the graphs to determine the trends in the stock market. How do we know we learned it? By getting a score of four on the even and odd functions part two assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We will begin by going over the learning goals and success criteria. While we do that, you'll fill out your Get It Started. Once you've completed your Get It Started, we'll go over it together and answer any questions that you may have. After that, we'll go over the Even and Odd Functions Part 2 notes, and then I'll give you time to complete the Even and Odd Functions Part 2 assignment on Desmos. Once you've completed the assignment, we'll go over it together and answer any questions that you may have. At the end of class, we'll go back over our learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your Before You Go. Your only homework for tonight is to continue working on the reasoning with features of function study guide and any incomplete assignments that you have. Let's take a look now at the even and odd functions part two notes. The notes begin with the learning goals and success criteria. So what is an even function and an odd function? An even function is a function that is exactly the same for f of x and f of negative x. So what this really means is that even functions are symmetric across the y-axis. So if I look on each side of the y-axis, I should see a direct reflection or a mirror of the function. So they are reflected across the y-axis. Now an odd function is exactly the same for negative f of x and f of negative x. And what this means is they are symmetric across the origin, meaning that they are rotated 180 degrees about the origin. So what does this really look like? Well, I have an even function here, and if I look at just this side, on this side of the y-axis, if I were to take that and flip it over, it becomes this part here. So every point, if I reflected it across this axis, it would be directly where it needs to be. So this is an even function. Now an odd function is something that's rotated. So I spin it 180 degrees. If I take this point here and spin it 180 degrees, it should end up right there. If I take this point and spin it 180 degrees, it should end up right here, and so on. So the whole function is spun around the origin. So this is an odd function. Now, neither functions are just functions that are neither even nor odd. They're not reflected, and they're not rotated 180 degrees. Let's talk now about how to sign in to Desmos to complete your work. So what we're going to do is you're going to click on the link to go to the assignment. And it should take you to a page that looks kind of like this. And right here where it says sign in with Google, we're going to click there. And it's going to pop up with our email accounts. You're going to click on your school email account. And it should already have you logged in because you should have already been logged in using Google Classroom. From there, I'm just going to click start the activity. And it will take me into the assignment and allow me to begin. So that's how you will log in to Desmos using Google. Let's take a look now at the even and odd functions part two assignment. The assignment begins with the learning goals and success criteria. If we scroll down, there's a link here to take us to the Desmos activity. Go ahead and click on that link, and it should take you to a page that looks like this. We'll go ahead and click start the activity. The activity begins with the learning goals and success criteria. We'll go ahead and click next. Now it says complete the graph in blue to make it even. So if we want to make it even, that means it's got to be mirrored over. So in blue, we're just going to continue this on, so just like that. Now in red, make it odd. So in red, we're going to have to come up and then do the exact opposite on the other side. So we're going to change this to red, just like that. And then we're going to come up like this, and then back down. That would make it an odd function. And then in orange, we make it neither. So we continue it up, we can do whatever we want, anything like that would work. So that would be an example of making it even and odd and neither. And we'll click next. We'll do the same thing for this one and this one, as well as this one. And we'll do this for all of them until we get to the end. Once we get to the end of the assignment, we'll go ahead and go back to our Google form and click next. This will take you to your before you go. Go ahead and fill out your before you go and then submit your work on Google Classroom.